Welcome back guys, my beginner's mind. My name is Martin. I know it's been a while since we've uploaded a video, but it's time to get a little more regular. Today, short story and some words of wisdom, Chinese master and his Zen student. And there's about 12 fish in a pond in front of him. And the master goes to the student, hey, how many fish are in this pond? The student looks at the master and goes, well, there's uh, 12 fish in the pond. The master goes, yes, that is correct. Well, how many ponds are there? student looks with puzzled eyes and he goes to the master and he goes, well, yeah, there's obviously just one pond. And the master goes, no, 12 fish, 12 ponds. I like to share this story sometimes before yoga because it is so true. We live in one single planet here, all together, all in the same environment, but we live each individual lives so completely different. Why? Because our lives are created up here. And sometimes these lives, even though we're living right next to our neighbor in the exact same world, some are happier, some are sadder. And we have the ability, because we create our life right up here, to change and to make it exactly the way we want to be. Well, how do we do this? The most simple way is first inviting mindfulness into our everyday activities. And mindfulness, what does this really mean? It's actually so simple. It's actually just noticing and watching, but releasing labels associated with events and feelings. And how do we get better at mindfulness and how can we use this to help change our lives? Well, best thing we can do is invite a meditation practice into our lives. And I put a little video description up top there so you can go check out my video on how to meditate. It's so simple and it's really just noticing and watching. And this is the key to changing the way we feel. And how, how does this work? I don't really know what you're saying, Martin. This doesn't make any sense. Well, take for example, I've got a little more mindfulness in my day and somebody goes, we're driving, they cut me off. And one action could be, hey, I'd stick something out the window, I scream, I invite rage and anger into my life, which would be a certain way of living. Or option two, somebody cuts me off and I feel the emotions that come up in my body, but I don't act on them, I just notice. And I try and let go of the label of the feeling and just invite the sensations into my body. And then now that I'm a little more mindful, I have the ability to change. I have the ability to slowly switch my reaction. Maybe first reaction, not so positive, rage, anger. Second reaction, I feel the feelings, but I know that I can do something different. And remember, whenever we do something different, we get better at whatever we do. The more you practice, the better you get. And that is a proven fact. So if somebody cuts me off, I invite that feeling in, but I don't react. I take a slow pause and I just notice the feelings and I decide to do something different that time. And then I decide to do it again differently and again differently and again differently. And now my reality, my rage and anger reality that used to exist is now replaced with a better habit, a better way of viewing a certain situation, thus creating my own positive reality that goes on up here. This is just one key, one little tool to creating a life that we enjoy more, that we're a little more happier, that we're a little bit more in control. I'm gonna be making these short videos just to really share with you guys on tips and tricks to create more joy happiness and learn to live the best life we can. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and I look forward to sharing more videos with you every week. So definitely stay tuned.